Hello my dear friends, today I like to say you how to evaluate with the EVLB app. So, uh, most of us using this app right now for uh, our class 10 and 12 in artificial intelligence or any subjects in our CBSC board. Now I like to say how to use this app. First go to press on this plus button. In this plus button you can able to find out your roll number, exam sets and subjects. So here I am going to give the one subject. My subject name is artificial intelligence for class 10 and it consists of three sections in this three sections once we are given this next you click next button after clicking the next you change your section 1 I mean the section A I am going to change section A number of questions in the section A is 6 and we have four options and if you press this allow optional attempts it will ask attempt any four attempt 25 sorry why i am saying attempt 25 because the last question if the students attempt all six question the last will consider as an extra and it has been given so i am given here as an allow optional attempts and attempt 25 that is an five out of six and uh, next one section b in this section b the uh, total number of questions is a uh, 20 questions in this 20 uh, what can we is going to say is that four options we are going to give here again uh, attempt any 15 questions so 15 out of 20 last one is in section c in the sections number of questions will be seven and options will be again four uh, low optional yes going to attempt any uh, five out of seven so after i'm completing this section a b and c i'm going for the next one so here uh, the layout will be there labels and letters you normally see that your name exam and date will be this is a normal and it is a default layout if i want to change my header just go and click the header here i already make some of changes with the help of the default medium if you go for the default medium so here is a pencil mark it will be help you to customize the changes you can able to give the title instructions whatever the instruction you need you can able to give here next one the labels here the four labels has been named given first label is a student name then the size is a medium class and section is a size medium next subject name it is also medium in size last one subject code it's in small in size once i give a save last the header save header i just saved it as a default medium itself so here i want to go and select my default medium so in the top school name next all the things has been arrived at the same time you can able to see a a for class 10 and section a section a consists of six questions uh, next section b it consists of 20 questions and section c here you can able to save this thing once you are going to save you want to enter the name for the class class 10 um even exam name what can exam name okay we can say any pre board one or anything you can choose any date of the examinations then you can able to save this thing once you saved you can able to see here pre-board one which i've been created here there's a pdf signal once you create the pdf so you can able to download the image there's an you can able to make it as a create pdf or whatever it may be once you're going to create it as a pdf it will ask one sheet per page or two sheet per page it's a single one sheet per page only you can able to give one sheet per page and we are going to set once you set this you can able to export as reason you can able to uh, import or whatever it may be you need it next one uh, we are going to set the answer key how we are going to set the answer key just click on the pre-board one here you can able to see the key option in the below you can go there and you can give the keys for the question i am just giving here this and default ones but you can able to give the exact key uh, which has been needed next one we are going to give the keys I have been selected everything yes now i am going to be save once I save here, it has been saved. Next, if you go there, we have set the question paper and also the key. You can able to uh, import this exam other than export this exam. If you export this exam to any of your other parallel teachers, they can able to easily uh, make the markings with the help of this export exam. At the same time, if any other make the question paper, you can able to import from them. So this is the thing. So here is the scanning option. Yes, now we are going to scan the sheet uh, by pressing this scanner button. Once it's pressed and you want to keep the four edges clearly, here it will not be scanned. Why? Because of it is not an exact paper of this exam or this thing. Um, so that's it will be not scanned. If you take this PDF, I mean 
uh, which has been given here as then this PDF if you take this PDF and if you mark the subjects and if you are able to scan the thing it will exactly show you what marks has been came there so this is the simple steps hope everyone like this video please share my video and subscribe my channel thank you everyone